Hey, welcome back guys. It's me, Michael, again from Little Mike's Thrift and Vintage. Here I am at a storage facility where I just bought five storage units this last weekend here in Lawton, Oklahoma. And this first one I'm, we're gonna look at only cost me $23. So let's see what's inside. <laughs> So here's what the unit looked like that I bought for $23. Oh my gosh, it's not been used yet, guys. You get a couple bucks for that. Well, that's a nice pineapple and a spider. Here we go. I just now noticed this here. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that little, um, what happened there. I just hit myself with that whip. As you can see, I left a red mark here. I'm not being dramatic. It, um, it really hurt. And um, let me get back to looking through everything else. So we're gonna put this over inside here and then grab this first little box up front to get working on this. Here we go, we got a um, travel kit bag. That's 50 cents for the store. These are probably some little jewelry boxes or something. Oh, they're um, the Chinese boating balls. Those are a couple bucks. Those are pretty cool. We got some, I don't know what these are. Put them to the side and we come up later. Got some playing cards. Maybe all the cards. Some family stuff. Probably some more of the bowling. Yeah, some more of the those Chinese balls. There we go. We got a an air freshener. Wait, wait. What is this right here? Looks like like a jewelry bag of some sort. We'll be right back with the video after a quick commercial break. Hey, did you know Little Mike's Thrifty Manage now sells t-shirts online? Yeah, that's right. You can order a t-shirt just like the one I'm wearing at thriftinvintage.com. It costs nothing to ship it. It only costs $20 to buy it, and that's a flat 20. And you can order it online today, and it'll ship anywhere within the next two weeks. So, or if you live in Lawton, and you can just come in and pick it up in the store at 2133 Southwest 4th Street. So, make sure to visit that. Thank you. Oh my. Wow. It's the crown jewels here. Probably worth at least like four or five million a piece, I'd say. Hmm. Let's go to the next thing. Got ex real excited there for a second. Necklace. We have some Gatorade um, gummies. Still one left. Nice little things. Picture frame. We got another spider in there. So um, let's just dump this out. As you can see, there's nothing really of any true value here. So move on to the next thing. Oh wait, that's pretty cool. Old Jack Daniels lighter. Little bit flicks. Zippo, little Zippo lighter. I think I got the tattoo. I know what I'm talking about. So. A little bit in that first box there. Got a cool Care Bear doll. That's probably worth $10, $15 once I get it cleaned up and washed and everything. It's pretty cool. Two out here. Check this here. Always check these camera bags because you never know what could be in these little hidden pockets and stuff. Apparently I'm nothing in that one. 
So this is one of the main reasons I bought this storage unit, because I saw this amp and it made me think that there might be some other music related stuff in here. So I'm going to grab this amp and put it over to the side. Um, get it out here. I'm going, this will be at our store. Now. Another box here. Hopefully they didn't charge us extra for the rat poop, but I don't know. Full of umbrellas and some fashion decor. The Dazzler stuff. Eco. <laughs> Just the charger. One, two, three. Hey. Some makeup brushes. Look, brand new. Could be lightly used. I don't know. I don't know. Some vacuum sealed bags. Unvacuum sealed. Partini. The party with the game twist. It's all there. There we go. That's pretty cool. Probably was probably was something worth something. It was a tripod. So we got a tripod and an old camcorder. Is that right? Camcorder here. That's pretty cool. Looks like it has all the equipment in there and everything to maybe some old footage and stuff. That'd be pretty neat there. Set that to the side. Got this box here. It's got some, oh, it's got some, some SEX comedy books. So I'm not gonna talk about them here, but if you're interested in those comedy books from the 60s and 70s, they will be on my eBay store. It's like a computer back here. It's the now noticed. I'm not very good at this thing. I don't know what I've been doing. I've been looking through this whole unit this whole time. And just now, notice what looks like a computer bag. It's pretty heavy too. Find the zipper. Toshiba. Hey, here it is. It's missing a couple letters, but it looks nice. Pretty cool. Set off to the side. Mosquitoes too are bad. Let's show the family. Another knife there, a couple bucks here, and these knives, and them alone. Hey, Apache Casino and Hotel. All you Loctonians. And I'll spend a lot of time there. Black Swallow, nice little knife. Another knife. Nothing spectacular, but a knife, a knife. Another knife. Another knife there. So we've got a pile of knives, along with a couple I found outside. Yes, cords, kitchen cords. <laughs> looks like that's about it. So it looks like there might have been some good stuff out of this once we look at some of the items and put some stuff on eBay, but I think we did okay here. I saw a couple, about 30, 40 bucks in just glassware. It's the Christmas stuff for the Christmas store. Just little stuff here and there. But I think we did all right in this one. So I'll get back with the official number and everything and then some of the items from here will be on eBay page. So after going through the whole storage unit and finding what I could find that was worth something, I valued everything around $120 for the store and what I'd put on my eBay page. So all in all, it wasn't that bad of a buy. So for $23, I'm, I'm not mad about it at all. So overall, I was pretty happy about it. So it was pretty good.